The Own Wick members Hunters is next in. Two more three furlongs. This time 0 to 100, of course. It's a Hunter Chase. The top one, Thunderbirds are go for Paul Rhodes. Overcast, Oliver McCormack. Ring a Ring of Roses, Martin Lidham. Viper Strike, Paul Rhodes. Baron Scroop, James Shea. Batania, Hughes for Ryan Costello. Treadwell, Shao for Graham Clitterbuck. Kyle Rear for Thomas Rogers. Chernick, Oliver McCormack. Herbalistic Rumpus, Ryan Costello. Edge for Freeze, Thomas Rogers. And Shavansky and a Moralist for Willie Mullins. So 13 then. Away they go. And Rear Rear Roses is the first one to show. Likes to front run. A sharp turn comes up straight away here. And there's a long run into the first fence, which looks to me as though it's going to be a ditch. And Ring of Ring of Roses is already five or six lengths clear. He really does like to put the pace to the race, this one, but doesn't always get round and gets over it nicely. They all jump that really well. And re oh, they didn't. Batania Hughes is a faller. Oh, must have totally missed that one. So Batania Hughes must have been obscured from my view when it departed the race. It looked like they all jumped it really well, but obviously not. And they're all over that one. This time I've got that right. Anyway, <laughs> Ring of Ring of Roses is in the lead from A Moralist in second. Then Baron Scroop and Viper Strike. Then comes Edge 4 Freeze and Overcast. And towards the back, Herbalistic Rumpus is the back marker at the moment as they get to the third and they are not hanging about this time are they? And Herbalistic Rumpus was untidy at the back and is starting to get a little bit detached. But Ring of Ring of Roses is six lengths clear of A Moralist in second. That one is a good two or three clear of Baron Scroop and the Grey Viper Strike Edge 4 Freeze on the outside of that one. And Overcast and Coral Rear Thunderbirds are going next and then Treadwell Shout. And Chernick as they get over the fourth. And after Chernick, Shavansky, and finally Herbalistic Rumpus, the bat marker. So they're already down to the final mile and a half. They're jumping over the fifth. And they're all over that one nicely. With Herbalistic Rumpus making a bit of ground on the outside of the bat. There's the winning post, obscured by hedges. And we'll keep an eye open for that next time round. And Ringer Ringer Roses will hope to be going past it first next time as well. Leads by four to A Moralist in second, who's got a good six or seven lengths on Viper Strike, who's third, then Edge Four for reason, Carl Rear, then Baron Scroop as they take the water. Looks like they're all over. And Ringer Ringer Roses in front. Has she gone off too fast? Which is something she's quite likely to have done. Does it quite regularly? I've seen it a couple of times this season already. Caught in the final couple of furlongs. Clear at the moment by four to a moralist in second. Six or seven at the gap back to Baron Scroop. Then edge four freeze. Then Thunderbirds are go. Then Kyle Rear and Treadwell shall and Viper struck. Over the next one we go. Then just a mile left to race. Then now. A mistake there by Kyle Rear, I think it was. It could have been edge four freeze. Didn't want to tell which one of those two was which at the time. And they're both together. Over that one they go. And. We've lost a couple there. Viper Strike and Overcast have gone. So Ringer Ringer Roses is still the leader. And the pace is catching some of these out. Shavansky's tailed off. And Chernick is struggling. But Ringer Ringer Roses is only a length clear of Amoralist now. Baron's group is running on in third as they come down to this ditch. Good jump though there by Ringer Ringer Roses. Got a length back up again. And leads. Only by a couple though to a moralist. Baron Scroop's going well in third. Ring of Ring of Roses jumped that one nicely. And back in fourth is Edge 4 Freeze. And still got a fair old way to go. And Ring of Ring of Roses is in front. Baron Scroop is closing. A moralist now looks beaten. Edge 4 Freeze trying to run over to third last. Ring of Ring of Roses jumped that one nicely. There's the rest of them over it. And swinging now towards home. Only got just over two furlongs to go, but this is the point where Ringer Ringer Roses normally gets collared. It looks like it's going to happen again. As Baron Scroop now swoops past on the outside. Baron Scroop becomes Baron Swoop and takes it up. Ringer Ringer Roses suddenly starts to tread water. Coming down towards the second last and over it goes. Baron Scroop in the lead now being chased by Kyle Rear. Being chased hard by Kyle Rear as well. Coming down towards the final fence then now. Baron Scroop, Kyle Rear closing. Over it they go. Kyle Rear's getting closer. Baron Scroop in the lead. Here comes Kyle Rear. It's going to be Close again as they race up towards the line. Baron Scroop just holds on from Carl Rear. Herbalistic Rumpus run on well to be third. And Gage 4 Freeze may have been fourth. But another race set up 
by a front runner. And Baron Scroop just about managed to hold on. Kyle Rear was getting closer with every stride. I think another furlong on it would have been a different story. Baron Scroop takes it for James Shea. Kyle Rear for Thomas Rogers was second. Herbalistic Rumpus for Ryan Costello was third. Edge Fall Freeze for Thomas Rogers was fourth. And Thunderbirds are go for Paul Rhodes was fifth. <laughs> 